All right, so this is my destruction. This is day. This is my destruction dragon emperor Gastaster uh, dual seeker OTK deck, or just destruction dual seeker OTK, because uh, destruction dragons my buddy. Just because I needed a buddy just to throw in there, so I can you know fill up the deck, and saw that this was this was a new monster under ancient world so I was like ah throw him as my buddy just so that good because he looks badass um, generic uh, generic world that's a new monster a size zero so it's like oh time to upgrade my ancient world dual seeker deck right and with this new monster I can potentially do an OT came if I you know set up the field right so one of the things you'll obviously want to do is you want to try to get two of these on the field one on the left one on the right circles right you want your the field to pretty much be clear so you can deal damage awesomely you will want to get obviously a uh, dual seeker tempest and force on the field you know his triple attack can't go wrong with that, right? That's pretty much all to carry there by himself. But you know, you can you can work with Spartan, which is a three crit double attacker, so that's six damage right there. Or you can just do two crit double attack or regular dual seeker. But uh, you know, my strategy is summon dual seeker martial. Um, you know, martial arts dual seeker. And then without any souls. That way he instantly gets defeated. You know, the idea is you want him to get defeated. Once he gets defeated, then you can summon from your hand. Make sure you have uh, Spartan in your hand. Then you can summon Spartan, take secret, uh, martial arts secret from the graveyard, add it as a soul, and there you go. Now you got a, you know, a, a, um, a three crit double attacker which is the one you prefer it has six damage by himself right then again you want to get two of these onto the field so that's two damage extra so that's right there eight so you only need to do the final two damage right to deal ten damage and of course you can use your impact card if you make sure your points field is clear You may only cast this card if you have a size 3 monster on your field and your opponent has no monsters on their field. So it doesn't even matter if you have monsters in your other circles. Deal 4 damage to your opponent. Boom. You know what I mean? Essentially. Of course you could if you can set up the field so you get dual seeker spot on the field, right? Um, it doesn't even have to be spot You could just get... Uh, Martial arts on the field, which is already going to be four damage. All right, get two um, hangmans on the field. That will be two more damage. That's so six damage, and then you can finish your opponent off, obviously, with uh, your impact card if he's wide open for a total of ten damage. So you can that right there can be an OTK. You know, if you set it up that way. Um, of course, uh, you don't even have to have two um, hangman. You can have one hangman. You can have one burning bowl, right? Because you can attack with it. While even if you have a monster in the center, your your dual seekers will be in the center, right? And this does one crit, so one, two, and then dual seeker by himself. This would this uh, martial arts particularly would deal four damage to himself. So that's six damage, and then you can impact for four, and that's ten damage right there. That's an OTK. But of course, you want more power um, in case you're attacking monsters and whatnot. You know, obviously you want the you want the bigger seekers, but the sooner the sooner you deal ten damage, the better, of course. So that's just a, a small little setup. You can obviously uh, um, make up for any of any of these let's say you just have uh, 
let's say you get to Spartan real quick and then you got Spartan which will deal essentially 6 damage by himself then along with Burning Bow which is 7 damage you got Hangman that's 8 damage and then you you and of course you use a uh, Magma uh, Flame Dragon Emperor Magma Nova to deal one damage, which means your opponent will only be down. Point will be down to one damage, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, you'll be down to one damage. So if you have another one, boom, play another one, of course, and you can take your point down. So there's a lot of potential, as you can see, for uh, OTK and your opponent. You know what I mean? To take them down because of the add-on, the fact that. You know, now you have an extra monster you can actually attack with, so you have more, more potential instead of just hoping to draw these and discard them to deal enough damage to weaken your opponent. Now you have a monster you can actually summon and attack. And then of course you know you got the burning bow, and you have to take into consideration what you have is that if you have uh, two of these two hangmans on the field, right? There's two attacks. Plus the bow, that's three attacks. Any of this, any of the seekers except for the enforcer, of course, will give you, you know, uh, two extra attacks. So that's five attacks. I mean, five attacks. That's not including the fact that you can do burn damage with flame dragon emperor and with your impact card. I mean, just one emperor and one impact card. That's already five damage by itself. 35 damage. You know what I mean, so it's like obviously there's a lot of opportunities for OTK with this deck. Alright, obviously, I already mentioned Flame Dragon Emperor. You know, why you have a size 3, you could discard it to deal your opponent 1 damage. It has life blink 1, but that's not a big deal. You're mainly going to discard it. You got Ice Dragon Emperor, Glacius. You can discard uh, while you while you have a grade two. I mean a grade three. You can um, a size three. I mean size three. You can discard this card um, and pay one gauge. I mean pay one life, not one gauge. Pay one life. And if you do, negate an attack. So yeah, I like that the ability to negate an attack. So that comes in handy. if you're trying to prevent your opponent trying to OTK you, right? And then I got Storm Dragon Emperor. Um, if you have a size 3 monster on your field, you may discard this card from your hand. Pay one gauge if you do destroy one item or spell card on the field. Comes in handy, of course, when your opponent has a low powerful item card that can potentially OTK you, you know. So you definitely want to get rid of that, or just something powerful like they might have a set card like like Battlefield, Military Band, for example, or anything else. Obviously, you want to get rid of it. So that's what that's for. And it has Life Link One, not a big deal. And of course, the Mighty Martial Arts Dual Seeger has Double Attack, Soul Guard, Life Link Five. It call cost is pay three gauge, and you may put up to two Dragon Lord um, cards from your hand into this card. So I recommend not to because the idea is you want him to get defeated. So you can drop those Seeker Sparks and, and and his call cost is obviously you use a defeated Martial Arts Dual Seeker that it was destroyed. Nullify the lifelink of the martial arts dual seeker, pay three gauge and put a martial arts dual seeker and from from the drop zone into this monster's soul. This has three crit, it's a double attacker, soul guard, lifelink five. Of course, when that gets defeated. You have dual seeker's tempest enforcer, call calls when a dual seeker Spartan when your field is destroyed, nullify the lifelink of that. Dual Seeker Spartan, pay 3 gauge to summon this. No Soul Guard, and this has Penetrate, Triple Attack, Life Link, which is you just lose. It's automatic loss for you if he gets defeated. 
And of course, you know, penetrate is when your opponent has a monster in his um, circle, um, his uh, center circle. Any extra, uh, if, you're, if you're stronger than their center monster, you'll deal you'll deal damage to your opponent. And crits, right? And battle uh, a set card, set spell. I mean. Um, cast cost pay one gauge all monsters on your field get a plus 1k boost and of course the more of these you play they'll stack so if you play all four of them that's 4k to all your monsters which are already powerful as they are but you can make them even stronger if you were to pay play this and one of these bad boys at the same time you have a 4k 1 crit 3k defense monster which is decent you know 4k and above is decent attack power you get to kill a lot of things with that we're still waiting for this card the mighty great talent dragon formation cast cost pay to life search your deck for a size 3 dragon lord put it into your hand and shuffle your deck this is the search card and this will help guarantee you have exactly what you need for the seeker combos so you can make sure you when when martial arts gets defeated spartan summons and when spartans defeated you know you summon tempest enforcer so this helps with the consistency of getting that combo off and of course we got rise and fall of dragons which helps you pay um, pay the cost of summoning your big boys you cast cost is you pay to life, so you sacrifice life in order to cast. It's a counter, which means you can play your opponent's turn. Um, put the top four cards of your deck into your gauge, and you can only play one copy of Rise and Fall of Dragons per turn. Yeah, I like that. I already showed you the impact card. Um, the call cards is pay three gauge. The opponent. You have to have a, a size three monster in your on your side of the field, and no monsters on your opponent's side of the field. And you deal four damage, and this is a impact card, of course. Item card. This it, you pay equip cost. You pay two gauge to equip it. You know, to, to yourself, flag, whatever you want to call it, right? And it can attack even if you have a monster in the center. Which is why I use it. It's basically a staple for me. My buddy, which again is Destruction Dragon Emperor Gethesto. Active effect. If you have a size 3 monster on the field, you may discard this card from your hand and pay one gauge. If you do, destroy a size 2 or less monster on your opponent's field. And this has like blank 1, which doesn't matter. Too much. But it's a size 3, 3 crit. 6k attack, 7k defense, so it's nothing to sneeze at, nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. And it's, it's, not, it's not that bad, it's pretty decent, you know, for a size 3. There's not really no cost, you just drop them and good to go. And of course, you got your ancient world flag. For ancient world. And that's the end of the deck profile.